And I'll be asking what next for League Two's bottom team, Hereford United, who today face the leaders, Port Vale. Our greatest glory lies not in never having fallen, but rising when we fall. Hereford United's club motto is tailor-made for that current predicament. Nothing's really going to change much, okay? Uh, what we're going to try to do is do exactly the same, but we have to recognise when we can go and press it. Of course, they're not used to upheaval in these parts. Graham Turner was at the helm as manager and owner for 15 years until his departure to Shrewsbury in the summer when he sold the club to one of their former reserve team players. And a TV presenter more used to embarrassing managers than sacking them. On the end, with a pineapple on his head, is the manager John Wood. John, what are you doing here? Uh, well, I don't think everybody's been straight with us yet. They've not told us everything about this trip. It's been an altogether more serious business for Vice Chairman Tim Russon and Chairman David Keat this week. It was a very difficult thing to do because, um, you know, I like the guy. Um, I couldn't fault Simon Davy for the work he put in in that short time. Hard as he was trying and, and Andy Fenson his number two were trying, it seemed to be actually going away from him. General consensus that it was right for Simon David to go? Definitely, definitely. We look clueless. Every game we've been to, terrible. I think they've done the right thing to get rid of uh, Mr Davy, who was, I think, not doing the right th thing for the club by pl changing formations every week. What do you make of them putting the physio in charge today? Well, Jamie is, uh, we all know him well and we all, we all like Jamie, so, and he'll, he's, you know, he'll motivate the players, so, you know, I think, you know, he'll stir them up a bit and hopefully they'll come out and have a go today, so that's all we ask, really. We got a physio, we got a physio. Seriously though, have you talked to the chairman about the job? Have you uh, <laughs> no, 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 you know, they've asked me to do the job and to be honest with you, I've been far too busy with all the rest of the stuff I've been doing to even think about it. But, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of candidates in there, so, you know, I'm just taking it each day as it comes at the moment. Oh! Oh, your first game in charge, your first league game in charge, you've already resorted to a football cliche. I know. It's a baptism of fire for Jamie Pittman today. He's up against League Two's Manager of the Month and about as experienced an old hand as he could possibly face. When I first got into the job, I mean, the pressure was always on. I think the pressure's always on first time managers. You know, you've got to get it right in your first job. Luckily for me, I got it right at Fulham. They may be bottom of the Football League, but their pies are right up there. Look at that. Pure. Hereford Beef. I'll tell you what, I'm having another one of those. Roll the ball. Top v bottom on Edgar Street, where managerless Hereford took a surprise lead after only 15 minutes. Sean Cannon bundling home his second league goal of the season. But in football, it doesn't take long to go from hero to zero, as Cannon found to his cost not long after. Vale pressure created a chance for Justin Richards, who was upended in the box by Hereford's scorer. Definitely a penalty, but referee Danny McDermott took a hard line, deeming it worthy of a straight red card. Hereford down to ten men, with over an hour still to be played. Vale skipper Mark Richards effortlessly rolled in his ninth goal of the season in all competitions to restore parity. But the ten men rose to the task and even won a penalty themselves when Anthony Griffith brought down Dominic Whirling. Guillaume Bowser opted for Spanish flair and finesse, which made it all too easy for Vale keeper Stuart Tomlinson. After that, it was a case of hanging on for the Bulls as keeper Adam Bartlett denied Louis Dodds. And as Vale pressed in vain for a winner, Justin Richards headed over from point blank range. Vale stay top, Hereford are still in the basement without a win since opening day, but this result is something for a new manager to build on. Can I suggest you practice penalties this week? Yeah, well, if anyone had done their homework there, and obviously they saw what Bowser did probably a couple of weeks ago, hey, we could all miss them. And he, apart from that, he's been absolutely superb. Every, him and every single one of them. Enough to suggest that whoever does take over here, this club's going to be Of course, right. of course. These are good enough players. They just have to remember it and keep working at it all the time. And that's all it's down to. Well, there is, of course, still plenty of football to be played this season, but that could become the end of the season. A huge point for Hereford. A huge turning point because uh, there's great spirit there, going down to 10 men against the team at the top of the table. You know, if they don't get belief 
from that, then they, they never will. It seems to be all the rage at the minute. Could we see another physio step up to the plate? Well, I see why not. I mean, Jamie's said that he's a good, good footballer, you know, for Hereford and Yeovil's over six years' experience at, at Hereford, so he knows he knows what it's all about, and uh, he might be a little bit cheaper than the Aussie well, Yeah, I think Aussie Ardili <laughs> has put an application in the post, but I, I heard from the club maybe they won't be uh, considering it. They want someone with plenty of football league experience. Mm -hmm. uh, interestingly, though, Jamie did did say after the game that maybe the players should be looking at themselves as well, and maybe they should think we should put a shift in here because all too easily we do see managers carrying the can mm -hmm. and players maybe not you know being responsible when results don't go the club's way well Simon Davy will be looking at that and be fuming because they put in a, an unbelievable shift there and so you know you, you play, it's sometimes you, know, you, you have to look at the manager but you also have to look at the players and when they go out and perform like that and put that amount of effort in you have to wonder sometimes don't you